And I would say the main thing that I saw from last couple games is I think my positioning is good, so the, the opposing team is trying to respect a lot on my positioning. So they try to do a lot of deflections, which they're very effective on, on it on the last game. Green deflections or just deflected? Deflect, deflected goals. So they're going through your body, like five holes, six or so, seven through your body and your arms? Uh, uh, around me, yeah. So they have one guy in front of me. I try to position myself in a way, but they just... Some more. You're, you're, you're from a butterfly because you're going down the shots coming. Yeah. And you got to react to pad your blocker and stuff up, right? Exactly. That's what this is going to come play. So we're going to have to work a little on this today, okay? Cool. So Sounds good. That's good. Let's get you warmed up first of all. Yeah. Let's get you in the net. I'd like to wall up a bit here, like this, like this here, like a butterfly wall up like that a bit. And bring your head and shoulders forward more, towards the play. And you bring your gloves like this, like that, like there. Now you're in position, you're not quite squeezing your pads together, gloves together, you're kind of towards the puck a bit like this, yeah. And you're down, your gloves are more down towards the shot. And your blocker, I like this more, roll it forward, roll it like this as you're making a save. And not up, like down towards the puck like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Down towards like this, like that, that's the, it making a save. Covering low, okay? That's kind of where I'd like you to be here. It's a very tough position for me to put pucks through you right now. As long as you're your arms are away from your body, pucks are gonna go through your body. If I'm here sitting here in a one timer to come across, I'm putting pucks right through you. And that's right. that goal. Alright? Do you want me to be in a situation where I have to beat you up off your body, up top, or the side posts, okay? Wait right in tight for a, for a deflection, screen deflection like we're talking about, you can wall right up and squeeze it tight to bring gloves tight together, nothing. And be, 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 sit taller, make him in this glove in like this. Bring it right in like that. This, uh, this piece in like this, tight like this. See how I sitting here and I have a screen tip and reflection? So I'm screening it, I tip the reflection thing here. You can, nothing's going through you. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. All your movements from this position. If I deflect from this position outwards, this way, you can move your pad, glove outwards, blocker outwards. From this position that you're completely square and, and, and compact, you're moving this way, this way. You know what I mean? On angles outwards. The shock is deflected, you're moving out from a central position. Does that make sense? Yes.
down your butterfly, basically, act it out. So all you do is you want to steer pucks with a stick and a pad, stretch and stretch their finger gloves, stick and pad, all move as one unit, you go together. Stretch to the wall, and, and half butterfly stand. Just move your hip out, stretch, one to toe, point to toe and you stretch out, like that. And make sure you point to toe so it stretches to the wall, right? Got it, got it. Check this pad out, bring this one behind you, and you stretch, 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 stretch. Yeah, now it's better. It's easier for you. Yeah. Okay. Pull this pad behind you a bit. Pull this uh, leg in behind you a bit. Yeah. You get a longer stretch, a better stretch. Not stretch on the head. Now we're going to do the other side. That's the easy side. The hard side over here is the guys do this. They go to stretch up. Their stick goes in a weird way. They overstretch it. They're off balance. The stick, for me, only goes this far, that's it. You know, about foot and a half. Rest the pad, you know what I mean? And then bring back. Okay. I think I get it, but my hip, my hip is like, I've never done this before. <laughs> yeah, so your hip, so your hip, the hip capsule, and there's a problem with it. So your hip capsule is only used to moving like this. Yeah. We're trying to get it to do this when you're butterflying. And now we're doing this and we're trying to stretch it out. So your hip's like, oh, what's going on? You can make it happen naturally uh, as long as you do the proper technique and don't hurt it. And the proper technique for me is, Watch this, go back to your butterfly for me, half butterfly extension, stretch into it. And this is very important, you have to understand to stretch your half butterfly, stretch out this way. Is that the toe is down, the heel is up, and point it, point it towards where you want it to go. And now you see the pressure comes off the hip and the knee, oh. like this, and you point that toe, and the heel is up. Okay. See the hip, now you try the other side. Interesting. Heel up, toe down, point. You see the difference in the field? Yeah, it does. That's the difference. So I sit there, I have NHL goalies. Sit there and go, I've been playing goalie like for 27 years and no one showed me this. <laughs> like, well, I mean, I don't know, right? And the guy's just saying, like, really, honestly, like, this is like, my hips hurt, my knees hurt. I go, because the mechanics of your body is only meant to move a certain way. Yeah. And if you have this, this movement, you're trying to push across out like this and jam that hip up, you're going to get bone spurs and all sorts of deformations in there. But if you just make it move, naturally by rotating it out a bit like this and suddenly hey look at this moving freely there's no stress you can lean into it there's no stress you're freeing it up it's not locking bone to bone right so the mechanics makes a big difference so another one for me was this so go on your butterfly again the guys will sit there and go well i stretch my pad to the side stretch out just a little bit stretch out and they can't get their knee on the ice they, they're, they're, their knees pulling off the ice especially young guys i'm working with and they can't get the knee on the ice they're trying to force it this way and I say, well, your knee will never force this way. It will uh -huh. you'll stretch out the ligaments. But if you rotate your toe down, heel up, it just naturally goes in to the actual landing gear. All right. By just by toe down, heel up, it goes naturally into the landing gear. You have pressure down as you stretch out, you're good. It's all natural. There's no pull up with the pad. Huh, it's okay. It's the mechanics. Yeah. You see? And the other one for your hip, if your hips, if you've been rotating them in all day like this right now, now they want to do that opposite pull back out. So now we'll this, bring this foot into your foot. This foot, bring into your other foot, this. Forward more, bring your foot forward more. Bring it close to your pad, bring it close to your pad. Bring, bring, your, no, bring your, your skate close to your pad. Yeah. Now put your head down. There you go. Now it's, it's, not, it's opening your hip up the other way. Now do the same thing on the side. Huh. Hip, get up, head down to your foot, head all the way down to your toe. Yeah. Roll it, roll your Get this thick on the other side of your pad. Get this thick up, 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 Roll this out like that. Yeah, let's roll it back. Here we go. Now head down. Head down. Stretch. Put your head all the way down as far as you go through your hip. Yeah. There you go. Now you're stretching your hip up. Back to where it wants to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Back to that. Now it's feeling like relief right now. This is a good stretch to when you do the opposite way that you've been pushing it all day. Yeah, so that's a big day today. All right. You learn some different stuff mechanics. Thank you. Your body, your butterfly. Uh, those are great tips. All right, that's it for this video. If you are planning to implement something, comment below and let me know what exactly you will implement on the next time you'll be on the ice. And are you actually doing anything off ice uh, for your training? 
And don't forget to check out Ron's website. He's my head coach of this training. If you're in the greater Vancouver area, he will be the best coach that you can get. Just one or two sessions can change your game significantly. I'll leave his details on the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you really like what I have been sharing here. And I'll see you on the next video.